Taxi driver survives brutal attack by Venezuelan men at Ruby Back Dam. Sean Smith, a 46-year-old taxi driver from Parica, East Bank Esequibo, miraculously escaped a vicious attack by five Venezuelan men on November 11, 2023, in Ruby Back Dam. Smith, who has been driving a taxi for 17 years, is currently recovering at the West Demerara Regional Hospital after suffering stab wounds, slashes, and a near-severed neck. According to Smith's cousin, Alicia Carroll, the harrowing incident unfolded between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock hours near a Guyana Power and Light, GPL, and Quartz location in the area. Smith recounted that the five suspects approached him in the vicinity, with two of them communicating in English and requesting a ride to Ruby Back Dam. Upon reaching their destination, Smith inquired about their exit point, triggering a violent response. Two of the men brandished a knife, attacking Smith in the car. Despite Smith's attempt to escape, a scuffle ensued, causing the car to inadvertently shift into neutral. After bringing the vehicle to a stop, the assailants demanded Smith's phone and money, subsequently dragging him out of the car and assaulting him with chops to his body. Shockingly, they used a curved knife to saw at his neck. In a moment of desperation, Smith feigned death by lying motionless on the ground, visualizing his three children's faces. Believing him dead, the attackers dumped him in nearby bushes and fled. Surviving the ordeal, Smith managed to return to his car, tied his t-shirt around his neck for makeshift first aid, and drove until he encountered people. Initially hesitant to help, someone eventually recognized him, leading to a call to emergency services. Transported first to the Leonora Cottage Hospital and then to the West Demerara Regional Hospital, Smith underwent emergency surgery for his neck and other injuries. The Parica Police Station received a report, and an ongoing investigation is being conducted by Senior Superintendent Mahendra Sinaran of Regional Division 3. Smith's wife, Shavza Smith, expressed gratitude to the Good Samaritan who assisted her husband during this traumatic incident, 